This is our all new TrueCut RGWorks software that was co-developed specifically for our latest laser machines firmware. And this is the new upgraded RGWorks controller manufactured by Ruida. It comes standard on all our new TrueCut machines for laser engraving. Together, these two form the complete system of the TrueCut RGWorks system. And what are the advantages, I hope you're asking. To start with, we have a screen here that allows us to be able to see everything that we'll be doing. First of all, the job that we have will be displayed here as well. The sizes of the job, the power parameters and everything else. And we can also be able to preview the work that we're going to be doing on the bed here while it's looking at the screen. It also shows you the progress of the job that we're doing, the percentage that it's at and how long it will take to finish it. Now, we have the reset button, which is basically you're turning on and off. It does the same thing as switching on the machine and turning it off. And the moment you press it, it's going to home the machine to the origin position. Secondly, we have the pulse button. This is the button that you use to manually fire a laser pulse. We use it normally to align the laser when it's pulsing from the tube all the way to the nozzle here. Now, not all of these buttons here are applicable for all of the machines. I'll specify those right now. For example, the Z-axis buttons do not work on the 6040 engraver because it has a manual Z-axis that you control on the side panel. But for other bigger machines that have a Z-axis that you can also control, then the Z-axis buttons work from the panel. You also have the focus button that does not work with these smaller machines because they do not need auto height adjustment. But for bigger machines as well, the 1325 and the bigger ones, it also works with the auto focus machine. Moving on, we have the frame button. Now the frame button basically allows you to be able to do an outline of the job that you want to do. It's gonna show you the space which it is gonna take before you start firing the laser that helps you save space and when you want to do your nesting and to be able to know how much material I need for the job that I'll be doing. The next button we have is the origin button. Basically for any job you want to start, you're going to have to set an origin point so that the laser knows where it's going to start from. Sometimes you want to start from the middle, sometimes you want to start from another end and that's what the origin button is for, to set a starting position. The next button we have is the shift button. This button you will only use when as instructed on the screen to press shift and something else. The next button we have is escape. Escape basically works as your back button whenever you want to get out of the menu that you had entered into. Now, at the bottom panel we have a green button here that is called the start button. Start or pause allows you to be able to officially start the job. So when you have set your origin, when you're ready with your job and you like the power settings that you have set, you can press the start button so that you can start engraving or cutting as you would prefer. The next button is the red one that is called stop. It's clearly labeled in red. That is the one that you press to immediately stop any job that you want. Now, the next button we have is menu. Now, the menu button specifically allows you to enter into the control panel that we have here. It allows you to change parameters for when you're now using the rotary. It also allows you to change all the other specs that you may not need to change on a daily basis, but for specific jobs. Next button is the file button. The file button allows you to be able to access every file that you have saved into the motherboard. Now, another wonderful feature of this panel is it allows you to pre-save any job that you continually do in the motherboard. So you do not have to go back to the computer and redesign every project again. So once your job is loaded into the firmware here, you can basically be able to just come to file and access each and every job. You also have the power button. You will use this to set the ultimate power that you're using for every job that you'll be cutting. This allows the tube to let out whatever percentage of power you put. For example, you have a 100 watt tube or you have an 80 watt tube. If you were to set 50% power on a 100 watt tube, you would be getting 50 watts from the tube. That goes to say that if you would also set 100%, you would equally get the full capacity of a 100 watt tube. Now, next we have the speed button. 
the speed button here controls the manual speed when you are moving the machine. And uh, lastly, we have the enter button. The enter button basically allows you to access any certain menu or any settings you want to set on the screen. We also have controls here, which are just the arrows, basic up arrow for forward movement in the Y axis and down arrow for backward movement in the Y axis. You also have the side buttons, which move in the X axis to the extreme right or to the extreme left. You also have the Z axis buttons, which I explained prior, that do not work on all the machines but only work on machines which have a Z-axis moving on the motherboard. And lastly, you will see that you have a U plus and U minus button. Those buttons actually do not work on our machines as we have not programmed them to work like that. They would have been for the rotary, but you do not need to use them. So there you go. We also have a wide variety of dedicated videos on software training and basic troubleshooting and operation of our machines on our dedicated video channels. Do watch them, it's very good for you.